All right, so it is almost 5 a.m. Um, we have not slept. We've been doing a bunch of things for Katsu, but the last thing I need to do is shape my beard. So I'm about to do that. And I'm so nervous because I love my beard. I love it a lot. But it has to go for the cosplays. <sighs> doing some last minute cricket cutting. There's a Jonesy in the way. Um, some last minute mask making. I'm making a mask for tea and I'm also making a few masks for myself. This one's gonna be my Shirakuma mask. There's the rest of the mask that we needed. Ah, they look so cute. I love them. <laughs> The mochi donuts are done and they look so good. We have one lemon because we had extra donuts. We have strawberry, Oreo, bubble tea. They the glaze turned out different for some reason, and then matcha and a straggler lemon. Mam out. There is a muffin in the way. It is the morning of Katsukon, and we are gonna take COVID tests. We have both have our COVID tests before we go, so that we are like 100% certain that we're fine. <laughs> we're not gonna give anyone This one is mine, this one is T's. I just had Google set a timer and we wait. So far there's no line coming up on the T, which is good. Everybody say bye to Tadet. She has some crickets in here for me for my trip. Yeah, Tadet. What you thinking about in that little hat of yours? Is it only anger? Is it pure world destruction? Is that it? Yeah, that sounds about right. Pure world destruction. Everybody obey the hypnotoad. And the cats have their auto feeder and that's fully stocked and has a battery backup in case the power goes out and a bowl of water and their fountain is full so they'll be fine for the next few days. Alright, our COVID tests are negative. We're good to go. We Rona free. We made a Sonic stop. And then it's on to the con. So we're checking into our hotel and Yaya Han is unpacking right in front of us. So... That's fucking cool, I guess. Are you excited? Yeah. Haven't been here in two years. It feels so weird. Also, this is the emptiest I have ever seen this place at check-in. I've never seen it look like this before. 
we are here and I'm going to take a nap because I need one because I was up till 6 a.m. last night and we're waiting on our luggage and then we're gonna get in cosplay and go down and get our badges and do our photo shoot we got our cooking station set up some donuts to give out a little bar set up in front of the TV, some snacks, some more drinks, and then more snacks. And we've got more stuff in the mini fridge oh, to cook some of the food with for the weekend. Hey, we got it really set up in here. So I have to sew a button onto T's pants and I have these magnets on my nails for the puff balls for void fish. And I found out that they are great for holding sewing needles and sewing pens, which I absolutely love. This is my new favorite thing. I'm always going to have magnets on my nails now. <laughs> I had my arm above your titties. Don't worry. We don't talk about Bruno. No, 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 no. We don't talk about Bruno. T and I were running a minute late for our photo shoot, um, but they're still finishing up their makeup, so I'm going down to get my solo shots, and apparently this mask does not fit me as well as I thought I did, which is going to be very annoying because I customized a big pack of these masks, but I'll figure it out. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna go start getting my solo shots. I'm very excited. Get T go. We wound up moving outside because it's fucking hot inside the venue for no reason whatsoever. I did not do makeup on my lower half of my face because... So we got very sidetracked because um, we ended up making new friends and we were talking for way longer and now it's almost 9 o'clock but we're waiting at disability services to get our badge and get my disability badge and all that. But I have to go to bed soon because it's almost 9 o'clock and I have a photo shoot at 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. Not us watching Barbie movies in the room. Every shelf. I don't remember this line. Your bow wows the cat's meow. That's how I burn it. It's been forever since we've seen that movie. But father, when can I leave? I've got the whole world to see. Why did you fall? It was a death drop. <laughs> Supposed to be. <laughs> In there, looking at me. Fucking me. A play and don't. I'm gonna show this way. Oh my god, don't die! <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> I'm trying to be quiet because. T is still asleep, but it's fucking 7.30 in the morning. I don't know if you can see that clock over there. No, not really. 7.30 in the morning. And I have a photo shoot at 9 a.m. So I'm gonna make some crockpot food and get in my makeup. running very very late for my photo shoot well it's only like five minutes late but to me that is very very late i got stopped by weapons check and they're doing these now and they're like oh it's just a small little tag and i'm like that's huge but okay <laughs>
We finished up my photo shoot. We managed to get gazebo photos. I'm so excited. Um, but I'm gonna go back to the room and drink water because it is still fucking hot in this convention center for no reason. Okay, but like low key, why does this look really good? Like just like this, like. Uh, it's the hair. <laughs> waist snatched? Hello. Hello? I love that I have muscle now. Like, oh my god, look at that. Take your medicine yet? Aww! It's yeah. <laughs> Inside! When will my reflection show? That was our concert. <laughs> Welcome to the family, Marika. The home of the family, Marika. We're on our way. We're all the people of Fantastic Hill and Magic Girl. I'm the family, Marika. Who's that? 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 <laughs> so apparently they moved the maid cafe so we're waiting to meet up with our friends by the like huge chandelier staircase and then we're gonna go try and find it we think we figured out where it is but who knows so this lovely human is it okay if i vlog you this lovely human here has quest I have to crab walk down the out the hallway and I'm ready. What do you have to do? I have to drink water. I have to drink water. I have an aha in my bag. <laughs> this is such a cute idea. I am absolutely in love. Kineticon. And I was like, oh my god, this is wonderful. I love that so much. No, there's an aha behind it. I found it. I found it. I'm gonna take the chance to take a sip. Yes, absolutely. Oh wait, oh sip, not water. sip. It's flavored water, it counts. It counts. Okay, hold on, I gotta find like the empty area. Do I think it. this area is better. Do it. Oh my god, I forgot I'm in Devonius. Alright. Yeah. So first, put stickers. <gasps> oh, it's such a big book. book. Oh, dinosaurs. Oh no, one page fell out. I want a space one. Okay. The options. A midnight cosplayer took my picture and gave me a pack of stickers. And look at them! Look at the dongos! They're so cute! Oh my god! I'm crying! I love them so much! So, we found, we met up with Becca and Grace. It's and hell. Oh no! I'm in so many layers, I don't feel it! Oh no, I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, apparently the Maid Cafe is not doing walk-ups this year and we forgot to make a reservation early. So we're gonna go get bubble tea. <laughs> we had a change of plans, kind of. We added on an Italian restaurant. So we get in pizza now. Oh, do you vlog? I do. Oh I'm that annoying person at con. Literally, I'm the person that's like, oh my God, that was so funny. Can we redo that because I wasn't filming? <laughs> I don't want to leave. Like, we're, we just started our scam. Hello there. <laughs> I'm just getting the food. Look at how cute this bubble tea store is. You can definitely use my con next solution. Yeah, thank you. Look at how cute these are. Ooh, make sure it doesn't fall. It's getting windy. Look at how cute these are. I got this little cup holder, and T got a light bulb. They're so adorable. We went back to the room for a second and we put some stuff away and I grabbed some mochi donuts and a print for an artist because I've been supporting this artist since I was 18 on Patreon and this is my first time ever getting to meet her and I'm so excited and I already asked her and she said she's okay with like hand-baked goods and this print here was the first ever commission that I got from her like five or six years ago and I'm really excited to have her sign it. <laughs> 
time's so short. I don't know how to film. Yes, they are like slightly stale. Like you can tell they're not fresh anymore, but they're still good. That's when, that, yeah, that'll make him best. Yeah. Also, can I get you to sign this? Oh my god! He's beat up. That's He's been through like four moves. That's so I remember talking this is so long ago. I know. Yes, please. He's been through so many moves. He's so tattered. It's, it's love. It is. I was like, I literally have so much art signed by you, but I need this signed. We fed him. Oh my god. <laughs> I am so excited about this. He was so much money. But he was the only one. And he's so perfect. He's so well made. I just... Look at him. Oh my god. Ah, he's so good. I'm the... So I took a break and I ran to the room to drop some stuff off and drink some water and shit. I got a Zanetsu drink on my way down and that shit was bomb, but there was like no, it was like half a cup for fucking $15. So we drink in our own alcohol after this, but I'm just waiting for the My Hero shoot to start and... I'm in love. There's another Obero here too, and I keep like awkwardly making eye contact. <laughs> I'm crying. <laughs> God, that was so cute. <laughs> Apparently, it's the weekend of Barbie movies. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, not even. The what now, song? The cheese song. Oh my God. Song. Let me tell you, it's when all the rats are like doing their duty to, to poison the whole island, and they were promised cheese from this lady. And I completely blocked that out from my memory. But I want you to is, tell us. Is this the guest? Of yes. <laughs> I need you to watch this. No context at all, but I want you to tell us the plot by the end of it. I love how you're like giving a presentation yeah. right now. <laughs> Thank you for coming to my TED talk. Yeah, TED talk. Um, so it's like a, an talk ad, about it's like a Super Bowl ad. <laughs> <laughs> it just this is this is the initiation though. Okay. okay. Yeah, tell us well. the plot. You need to tell us the plot of it. Gay, obviously. Oh, That's okay. the whole plot. It's gay. Three minutes of gay. Yeah. Oh, my. Oh, yeah. Actually, yeah. Is this a toy? Is this? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who are these two? Is one of them you? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, the casual hand touch. They are not... Oh, no. Okay. This went from zero to 100. <laughs> no, he is not gonna cheat with fucking Ida. He do. Yo, in fanfics that. Whoa! Oh shit! Oh, he going for it. Imagine cheating on your boyfriend. <gasps> uh oh! Oh shit! <laughs> Wait, what? 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 Listen, every fic I've ever read with Ida, they make him fucking pack him. Exactly. I just, you tell me. You tell us. Wait, what? 
Hold on, what? I just got whiplash. Wait. Did Baka go fucking? Can I add something? Yeah. I've never seen my hero ever. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay. Okay. All you need to know is the blonde is Bakugo, yes. red is Kirishima, Bakugo. and the blue hair is Ida. Okay, yeah. I have my theory. I'm ready. Okay, you go. What is your theory? Bakugo and Kirishima are in a relationship. Okay. Kirishima's studying and he's like having trouble, so Ida, the smart one, decides to, uh, to help him. Kirishima ends up cheating on Bakugo with Ida, and for some reason Ida's okay with it, which seems out of character yeah. for him, honestly. Uh, but Ida's fine with it, and then Bakugo finds out and fucking kidnaps and murders them. <laughs> I, I highly agree. Yeah. Yeah, a very accurate summary of what I just watched. Interesting. Very domestic. I've never felt love a day in my life, but that made me feel something. Yes. Oh my oh, god. No, that's not true. Yeah. The, the creator clarified. Yeah. Yeah. So, do, do, so there is a right answer. There is a right answer. But do we have any more mm -hmm. guesses before we tell you that? They, I don't know. They so, have were one. they about to die and was that their life flashing before their eyes? <laughs> I don't know. Like, <laughs> yeah. Bakugo's actually a cuck. <laughs> Is it that Baka goes a cuck? After we watched this, we could not find a description of this video. No one could figure out what it was about because it was just all over the place. Yes. And they like they watched it. They had to watch it a few times to figure it out until you scroll to the comments. Well, and it didn't even make sense. Yeah. The, yeah. Even in the comments. Yeah, because like, everyone's like, "What the fuck is the plot?" It's a great yeah, video, but what is the plot? Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Is Kirishima actually in a relationship with Ida first and cheating on Ida with Bakugo? That might no. Be it's Family Feud. Good answer. Good answer! <laughs> you know the dude that hosts Family Feud has a fucking judge show now? And he's like, I'm not a real judge, by the way. Like, he straight up says, he's like, this isn't real court. <laughs> From, this is how they have been just to talk because no one can figure it out first. So I think some people will be confused what's happening. Kirishima and Ida have been together yeah, since sure high school. Right. What? Oh, what? I got, right. I got it right. I have questions already. <laughs> but Kirishima is also in love with Bakugo. Uh, he's been trying to hide it for years, but Ida obviously knows. Fuck what? Do this and lure them both out to get rid of him. What? And Bakugo were doing it made him see like they were the whole thing, especially when yeah. it started out with them. Yeah, some yeah that's some M Night Shyamalan. What the Shyamalan? It's Shyamalan. I, I don't care how you pronounce his name. You know what I mean. I don't care if he butchered Avatar. It's Shyamalan. <gasps> Soka. But we sat down at the fucking pizza restaurant, and this woman's like, "Oh my god, are you guys dressed up as Avatar?" No. Well, no, I was in um a different yeah, one. You're in, you're, I was in like a tall blue wig. We are getting ready to go to the club for our photo shoot. <laughs> hey. Hey. And my makeup was being a bitch because my eyes kept watering and would not stop watering. So it looks like shit, but this is what we're at. And I just put blush on the corners to try and blend it in. Ooh. Mike Wazowski. Mmm. Midori and Sprite. Oh, I can actually put my glasses on with this cosplay, too, because it works with the cute theme. We cute or whatever. You can probably see my tits for this. 
No, actually you can't on the phone. It's fine. I love these earrings. I got them at Artist Alley. I also got bracelets that say DTF and Goblin King. And then I got another one that says Zooted and Himbo. <laughs> the doors just open. I love the mirrors on this elevator. They're so cute. Wait, she was gonna pour it. They're both Here interesting people already, in my opinion. It went up my nose. Oh no! no. <coughs> wait, wait. Are you are you all right? Are you all right? My whole mask smells like vodka because I just tried to do a shot and I fucked it up and I got it all over my nose and my mask and I love that for me. So this lovely human helped me fix my makeup by giving me um, some glitter from Euphoria and. It made my fucking watery eyes look so much better. It looks amazing. Like, yes, it's we're ready for everything. our photo shoot. I'm so excited. Thank you. You're giving glitter, Thank you're giving you. Also, fear. what's your like handle? Uh, Mononoke.222. I'm not really a cosplayer like that, but you know. I <laughs> hey, <do> whatever. <laughs> this is so cute. I love this on like the TV for the cocktail menus. This whole place is so cute. I always love how gorgeous it is up here. I'm gonna get that drink. You don't get the blood bag, but they do squirt it out of there, which is still really fucking cool. fucking lights on in the stall. What the fuck is this? <laughs> oh my fucking god! <laughs> I'm fucking drunk. I'm gonna hate myself tomorrow, but I'm waiting for a friend to get out of the bathroom. I literally love this cosplay so much. It's so cute. I've gotten so many compliments. It's Saturday morning, and I woke up early and I have to see the sunrise. And it's actually so pretty. I can't believe I'm up this early at a con. <laughs> But look at how nice that sunrise is. So I'm in my cosplay. It's only fucking like 8 a.m. I went to rehearsal early to just make sure that I like got a good slot for my judging and everything and I actually get to rehearse because last year I didn't get to rehearse and I have a lot of lighting cues this year but apparently I'm really fucking early because only two staff members are here <laughs> but I'll get a good spot. I might go take a nap in the corner. <laughs> I've been here since 8 a.m. only to wind up in the back of the line because I was never told to go to check-in. Love that for me. But hopefully I still get a good um, rehearsal time slot and judging time slot because that was the whole point of showing up early. <laughs> um, I just want to go to pre-judging before something breaks. <laughs> so I'm stupid. And apparently the judging times were given out in our confirmation email, which I only skimmed and did not see. So I woke up early for nothing. Love that for me. <laughs> they are trying out some new systems this year. 
And you can tell, because it's very disorganized. I've been running like back and forth for shit all morning, so love that. I swear it'll be worth it, it'll be so much fun. As long as I get to rehearse and go to my judging, I'll be okay. All right, so I am waiting for pre-judging. I've got my booklet here, and I also brought a bunch of my like failed knittings and like pieces that I didn't use. So there's like a bag of like knitting and crocheting in there for the judges to look through. But um, I'm actually gonna watch over my rehearsal video, see how that went. Uh, my umbrella did give me some issues, so I'm gonna need to figure that out real quick. But I'm very excited, even if I'm very hot and overheating. I just finished with judging and they seem to really like it. They actually asked me to take my jacket off so that they could see everything and they seemed really happy that I like matched my lace on the cuffs of my jacket. They really liked like the detail I put into all the lining on everything because like even the vest is lined and like all the fabrics match up and stuff. They were really happy with it. So here's for the best. They also loved my nail puff. <laughs> hanging out in the gazebo area for a little bit. I don't really have anything planned. I'm probably gonna go back to the room and like relax for a minute. But um, another thing that was like really weird about judging was they weren't up in our face this time, which like I get, but usually they're like up in your space, like looking over your cosplay, like checking your seams. Ooh, piece of my wig is getting a little messy. Um, but like they're usually really close up looking at your detail and this time they weren't which was a little like odd but I get it and also honestly kind of made me feel safer so I'm here for it like it worked but I don't know I'm pro I don't know really what I'm gonna do because I've got like two hours to kill until green room but I definitely need to eat so it's so hard to believe that this is Saturday like it's like 10.40, like almost 11, and this is Saturday. Like there's no one compared to how it normally is. It's wild. I saw an Oron group and I got a rose. It's so cute. I took a picture of them on my Polaroid and I gave them one of them as well. And they, they were so cute. I think they're still over there. Yes, there they are. They're so cute. A photographer just took a photo of me and gave me gummy bears. I'm so excited about these. <laughs> Taking a break in the hotel. Please. Please, Daddy. I want Cora. I want sushi. Why do you do this to me? I was filming my food. Did you film me? Yes. Because you started acting up. I want sushi, Daddy! We are at the Masquerade Green Room. They're doing it in the hallway this year, which I actually really enjoy um, because we're more spaced out. But there's like not a lot of people competing. There's very few people here, which is wild. I've never seen it this empty. Oh my gosh, look at all the detail in this. How actually, can I get a video of your jacket too? Perfect. Thank you. Oh, it looks, everybody looks so amazing here. Look at this. They even made the gemstones with resin. Oh my God. It's incredible. See cosplayers and see, you know, this convention being so vibrant and I'm really honored to host the masquerade again. I got to host back in I think 2012. They never want me to meet anyone. I know you. I walked with you once upon a dream. And who that guessed it come together on their own? Is this an instrument? Ha!
was that? I don't know. It must be the cork. <laughs> So, my umbrella broke while I was on stage. I love that for me. <laughs> Let's move right along to our journeymen. For our journeymen craftsmanship, we have Bejeweled Cosplay for their voices. We absolutely love how much craftsmanship they put into this. They crocheted all of the tendrils that came off of the uh, umbrella, and they even lined up their lace, which is very impressive. There's lots of beautiful detail in this costume. And the duck is a purse. I was going into this because I've never won for craftsmanship. It's always been my performance. And I was like, I need to get better at my craftsmanship. And I really worked on this cosplay. And I did get my craftsmanship up. And I won journeyman craftsmanship. Ah! Words cannot explain how happy I am right now. The serotonin in my brain right now. <laughs> I did not do makeup on the bottom half of my face, but I'm taking an outside break because I was overheating in the con and the wind is cold on my face, but it feels good on my back. That was a lovely song by me. Um, but I'm literally just walking around being a picture whore and trying to find Magnus cosplayers, so. So going outside was a mistake because I'm now picking debris out of this with the tentacles, which love me. My void fish photo shoot and my photographer is fucking amazing. We've gotten so many cool photos. I cannot wait to get these back. I've been doing a lot and having a lot of fun since my photo shoot ended, so I haven't been vlogging much, but I'm getting into Chris now, and I have, ooh, I didn't blend that out. I have another photo shoot, but it's just like a quick one, and then it's time to party. My eyes are doing the thing where they keep watering again. I think it's because they're irritated from me like rubbing the makeup off, putting moisturizer on, and then putting more makeup on, but we ain't Chris. It's so nice to be in a comfy cosplay. And I got my little fake champagne. We have a photo shoot in like an hour, but I'm gonna go to the bar and hang out with friends until then. Oh, 
club kind of sucks this year. There's no fun lighting. The music is meh. Are my eyebrows uneven? My fucking eyebrows are uneven. I hate myself. But yeah, the club kind of sucks this year. But we should <laughs> we should get a cool photo shoot still at least. Yo, this shit fucking, oh my god. We finally checked out. Oh my god. I'm so tired. But I had so much fun last night. And I have not even been to vendors yet. So I'm going to hit up vendors today. And probably go back to Artist Alley and spend too much money there. But we are going to get sushi. We're going to get curry tonight. So one thing that was fucking ridiculous last night, there are no pizza places that deliver here. I called the um, pa the Papa John's that was nearby, and they were like, "Oh, we don't deliver to the Gaylord." And I was like, "What the fuck?" And they were like, "Yeah, we don't deliver there. All of the ones in National Harbor don't deliver at all." Um, and then like there was another one that said it was like two or three miles away, but it was in Virginia, and so they were like, "No." We don't deliver there. It's in another state. So I couldn't get any fucking pizza last night, which was just weird. Like, because this is a huge convention center. You would think that would be a good market. Dealers from here was fucking incredible. Like, honestly, it was really great. And I got some cute things. Like, I got a bunch of little, like, I got mostly a bunch of little things. Cause I'm trying to like save some, most of my money to go back to Artist Alley with, but they're really nice and I like them a lot. Um, but there was so much cool stuff in there. Like, God, I wish I just had infinite money. Stop, this is so cute. I'm absolutely donating. That's adorable. Though. To sign his shield for Magnus. It's, it's like 10 after 4 right now. Him. Probably I love just him. Like make her I tried to put the straw in her mouth, but I ripped her face open. Sad. I hate this. I've never had my car packed for me before. This is so nice. I don't know, T, did you? Um. <laughs> we got conveyor belt sushi. Ooh, Las Vegas. 
Viva Las Vinegar. <laughs> Oop, careful, the, the ball's about to come. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hey, what do we get? What do we get? We got. Oh, it's a cinnamon bun tattoo. Oh, we love to see it. Did somebody miss me? Did somebody miss me? Oh, what was that? Oh, ho, ho. I just woke up from it's fucking two o'clock at night or in the afternoon on Monday. I'm doing my second COVID test right now, and then I'm going to. Alright, I'm going to let that sit, and then when I'm done doing um, this, uh, while I'm letting it sit, I'm going to finish unpacking. But overall, oh my god, this con was so much fun. I had a blast. It was definitely a slightly different vibe than what it normally is, but it was still incredible. I had a great time. I got a lot of really cool things. Oh my god, I still can't believe that I won Best Craftsmanship. It was incredible. But it was so much fun. It was... What? She just got beat up in my business. But yeah, it was incredible. I had a blast. I had more fun than I've had in a long time. And... I already miss everyone so much, and I just, like, can't wait to be back. I can't wait to go to another con. I didn't realize how much I missed this. I think not having a con for two years, I just kind of forgot about how, just how much fun they really are. And didn't realize how much.